Did you know that 55,000 people die each year from seizures? That's nearly twice as many who die in car accidents. Recently, the Glendale Fire Department played a key role in researching a better seizure treatment that will now change emergency medicine. My buddy's having a seizure. He's been seizing for about five minutes. It's not unusual for Glendale paramedics to respond to as many as 10 prolonged seizures a month. A prolonged or dangerous seizure is one that lasts longer than five minutes. Paramedics want to stop those seizures fast. The reason you want to stop a seizure as quickly as possible is because brain cells are actually dying in the seizing patient, so time becomes critical. It's the deciding factor between that patient being normal and healthy or suffering from brain damage or even death. With this in mind, it made sense for the Glendale Fire Department to participate in a federal study to determine the best way to stop those seizures. The name of the study? Rampart. 17 other organizations and the University of Arizona also participated. Rampart's goal? Determine whether an intramuscular injection, which delivers anti-seizure medicine into a patient's thigh muscle, is as safe and effective as giving medicine directly into a vein. The study compared how well each method stopped patients' seizures by the time the ambulance reached the emergency room. Drum roll, please. Uh, the, the great news is, is that it turns out not only is the uh, intramuscular injection as safe as the intravenous injection, but in fact, it is superior to the IV injection to stop seizures before the patients arrive at the hospital. More great news, the Glendale Fire Department outshined all the other participating organizations. Glendale Fire ranked number one in the study in terms of how many patients we entered, but also the most compliance. Okay, so we entered the most number of patients and we followed the rules the best. And that reflects the high caliber of paramedics that are in the city of Glendale. This is how Glendale paramedics helped change the face of anti-seizure medication through this study. First, when responding to emergency calls for a seizure, they quickly assessed if the patient met the study criteria. We couldn't just enter every seizure patient that we came across into the Rampart study. You know, there were several things that they had to recognize, like how long the patient had been seizing, uh, the patient's past medical history, things of that nature. We'll go ahead and enroll them in Rampart. Once paramedics determined a patient fit, they entered them in the study and they pulled out this box. All right, we're going to give them the IM test drug. There was a special box we carried that carried two types of medication in it. One medication was a placebo and the other one wasn't. And so we did not know whether we were given the placebo into the uh, muscle or we were giving it into the IV. But in all instances, the patient did receive some type of seizure medication. Got the IV drugs ready. Another benefit from the steady outcome, the intramuscular injection is not only faster, but safer for paramedics. Starting an IV on somebody that's having a seizure, it, it, you're starting an IV on a moving target basically. So it uh, poses a lot of uh, risk to us to, to poke ourselves or possibly injure the patient that we're trying to start the IV on. So to be able to have a faust, faster uh, route of the medication to give and for it to be safer, it, it's the best of both worlds. And thanks to the exceptional work of the Glendale Fire Department, we can now expect paramedics all over the world to use this new procedure.